Singapore. The split in the global community over Ukraine and China has been a gift to North Korea. It is increasingly clear that Pyongyang has been emboldened by the formation of a new anti-United States bloc, prompting it to reach out to Beijing and Moscow. The reignited closeness between North Korea and Russia this week, as evidenced by the luxury armored train carrying Kim Jong-un to a meeting with Vladimir Putin, is a natural partnership. It's being called a summit of the anti-West, a hangover from the Cold War. There is an important difference. Beijing is in the background but is a much bigger player in this reshaped geopolitical triangle. Sharing handshakes and denouncing imperialism, the two leaders of these isolated states drew each further into the other's orbit. The face-to-face -face meeting may have ended with few details of what was discussed, but it is just the start of their renewed cooperation. And it is a common enemy that has drawn them closer. Washington's aggressive alliance building in the Asia-Pacific, which resulted in the trilateral U.S.-Japan-South Korea summit in August, has been seen by North Korea as an unwelcome sign of even more American military might in its backyard. For Russia, this is an opportunity to reach out to a disgruntled partner that it recognizes could do with a little help in the form of food and energy supplies to evade sanctions that have crippled its economy, especially since the pandemic.